Coach Crystal Ball said you guys have like up to nine different defensive you know, personnel groupings. I don't know how that compares to last year, but I mean, is, it, is it difficult at all to remember you know, who's in what and all that kind of stuff, or have you guys pretty much nailed that down? I mean, we got it down for all. It's not too hard. You know, everybody stay after it and learn their job, so it's not too hard. Um, it's not too complicated in my eyes. Just, I feel like I got a defense down pat already. So. And for you, I think you mentioned it before, like the jack kind of role would be something you would be doing. Is there? Is there different roles that you have, I guess, so far in terms of some of those personnel groups? Yes, sir. You know, uh, different personnel groups, uh, you know, I'm in different places, uh, doing different things. It's for defense, right? And how much would you say you're standing up versus hand on the ground type of thing? Uh, I'm standing up more than I'm on the ground. And is, I guess is there an advantage to that and just for your game in particular and what you think? Yeah, uh, you know, you have to see certain stuff and uh, be able to react to certain stuff. So that's why uh, most cases, us dancers are standing up. Have you done that a lot before, stand-up rusher? Uh, yes, sir. I play, well, I played my junior year of high school, I played uh, outside linebacker. Outside so, linebacker. Yeah, so I'm pretty comfortable with that. What do you like about this defense? I just asked, uh, Gil about the defense and how you like about Kevin Steele. What, what's he like? Yeah. What do you like about it? Um, there's a lot of trust in Coach Steele. You know, we're very confident in him. Like, we're very, uh, like, we know he knows what he's doing. So, like, uh, very, you know, uh, we trust him very much. But, um, but my favorite thing is I feel like we get to play like, like he knows where to put you, you know. He knows like he knows how to use his personnel. So, uh, you know, we just we have a lot of fun out there because it feels like, you know, we just, it's not too much, you know, the thing, you, you don't gotta think too much, you just go out there and play. Gil said he'll, he'll talk about stuff from like thirty years ago. It's like is he telling oh, yeah. real old stories? He got a like... good memory, man. I don't know how you remember <laughs> that stuff, but yeah, he tells a whole bunch of stories though. So, uh, you know, because he's been coaching for what, forty three years, forty four years. So. Anything good? Any, any good stories? Oh, yeah. Yeah, good stories, bad stories, yeah. everything in the middle. Jafar, uh, Mitchell Gude mentioned yesterday how you've really taken a leadership role within that, uh, that defense. I guess when did that really start to happen? Uh, you know, I'm an older guy now. You know, uh, we had two older guys leave last year to the defensive main room, so you know, I just feel like I had to step up. Uh, I feel like it came natural, though. You know, in uh, the spring, going through the workouts, it just became, became a natural role. Maybe some games on TV this weekend, and obviously you guys don't play. But you, you stay home and watch, and study FSU or anything like that. Or you, do you watch any of the other games? Yeah, if I got some, you know, I should have some free time Saturday night. Uh, yeah, I'll watch some football games. I don't know who else is playing, so I know it, it was a, it's early. North Carolina's playing too. Some of the okay. other ACC teams. Yeah. Too. yeah, I'll be watching them. Talk about a need to step up this year. Uh, Miami didn't have the same sack production that we're used to last season. How important is it for you to get back to that 10 sack? number for Miami? Uh, very. But uh, we know you got to start the run first, uh, first and foremost. But yeah, we, we will get back to that. Though. I'm very confident in our D-line. Is there anything that they're doing that is making things easier for you guys to get to the quarterback this year? Um, no, not really. We don't. We just, you know, football is football. Start that run, give them third down, and just rest the passer. You, you, you guys were also down in uh, turnover takeaways, I should say. Um, how much have you been working on that? And that going forward to this season? Uh, I feel like uh, turnovers will come naturally when you're, uh, you know, you're pounding them, pounding them in the run game. They gotta, they gotta throw it. That's where turnovers uh, come and play. Uh, you know, took, uh, took those and you know, over those, gotta get those. So, uh, this, I feel like just flying to the ball, knocking that ball out, pass to the ball, that'll cause turnovers. The other thing is we've heard a lot about the defense <laughs> but nah I, I'm confident in our offense you know uh, Coach Gaddis you know I feel like they'll, they'll be good by the time the season comes a couple more for Jafari how, how excited is it to just finally get into you know week one prep and start preparing for another team instead of just kind of going through the motions not going through the motions but you know just going through camp um, well, we're very excited uh, to focus on somebody else other than ourselves um, just working on you know day by day um, I feel like the summer flew by as like it always does, but you know we're really excited to play the first game. Heard a lot about the defense, maybe more players coming in and out of like rotation on plays. And for example, do you think that's going to help like the takeaways for you know going into the season? Yeah, it help it help uh, keep us fresh, uh, fresh legs rolling in and out. Um, you know, different personnel for different things, so you know it help a lot. Thanks, Jafari. So, thank you.